my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, and especially all of you who have turned up from the Evangelical Alliance of Kenya, the Hindu Council, the Religious Council of Kenya, interreligious, our National Council of Churches, NCCK, National Muslim Leaders Forum, NAMLEF, Organization of African Instituted Churches, OIC, Seventh-day Adventist on the way, Supreme Council of Kenya Muslim, Subkem, uh, the Shia Asna Ashri Jamaat Saj, the Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops, and all invited religious men and women. I stand here before you as the chair of this convocation, and I must admit it's opportune. And I appreciate our bishop's reflection. We are here because we care. We've cared and listened to his, his reflection. But we are here more we care because this country is asking this question. When you go around, they are asking, what is the church saying about what? about everything going on. They wait to hear what you are saying because they know you care. And I'm here to tell you that since now 2016 and beyond and to date, we have formed ourselves to a, to a team that works as a caring body. And I remember years, two, three years now, when we had to come together in this same place to look at the burning, possible burning country. And we came up with one strategy that is key. We all pray, we all take action on certain areas. So this convocation or calling together of the faith members of our nation is not just a chance. It's God made and I believe our mandate, you all know, our mandate is to have that voice that cares. Because we also know there are other voices out there that is about themselves. And therefore, this message for me as your chair is to, to state why we are here today. I want to welcome all of you, those who are here for the first time, those who have been here all along, and more so, our technical team uh, who are with us, some are not necessarily part of a religious committee, but they are here because they care. They walk with us, they guide us, because we need, we need all the expertise we need. So we are here because we want to look at the issue of peace and harmony of our country. Making peace in the past and I want to quote John 13, John 13, 34, 35, which I say, I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. So also should, love, should, should you love one another. This is how all will know you are my disciples if you love and you can add if you care for one another. Beautiful words. Following the political standoff, you remember, of 2016, especially on the Independent Electoral Boundaries Commission, motivated by our prophetic role, divine mandate, and borrowing from the respective religious scriptures, we affirmed our commitment to engage in the restoring the dignity of our people through a national dialogue. This was given, or this was to give them the opportunity to engage meaningfully in a charting the destiny of our country and our aspiration to express in the national anthem, which we just sang, that justice, justice be our shield and defender that we may dwell in unity, peace, and liberty. 
End quote. That's our national anthem. At that time, if you all remember, the religious leaders led by the members of the Dialogue Reference Group, remember our chair, the late Bishop of Eldoret, Bishop Coril, we all pondered on the past that continued to haunt our country and came to a consensus that for our country to move forward, we need a structured and a genuine dialogue with our past and current issues that might breed or break our unity and strengthen peace and security, which would obstruct from realizing full potential. We therefore are here, or we then developed a framework we call the National Dialogue Framework, which provides a platform to engage multiple stakeholders on the future of our country, Kenya. In this regard, we held the first National Dialogue here and first NDC in September 1st last year, which brought hope to the people of Kenya who were hopeful who were hopeful that it would be address issues that divide our people and as a country reflect it together. We are called upon as Kenyans to take interest and actively participate in the various initiatives to ensure that the initiative that the National Dialogue and the County Dialogue Conferences took place are all shared and reflected upon. That's one of the reasons that we are here to, to reflect. We went further to call about the people of Kenya to be concerned about our country and about our issues which tend to divide us. You remember we identified them and about the nature of our politics and about our economy and further to ask ourselves whether all that we do is for common good. For a majority of Kenyans uh, continue to suffer. For this reason, my dear brothers and sisters, we continue to appreciate the national political leaders for having put aside their personal interests and differences by taking together, by coming together, you remember 9th of March 2018, Wakipeana Mkono, the handshakes, all we call, which was a big milestone, cooled the temperatures of our country and people began to talk together, began to dialogue in one way or another. For, for forgiveness makes us free and brings new beginning through the healing and the reconciliation. As religious leaders, we continue to encourage all Kenyans to embrace forgiveness at all levels and especially at the grassroots. We at this point commend our work done by the Building Bridges Initiatives Task Force that culminated in the report that was released last week. And you all remember we did present our findings then and our reflections about the issues that we needed to bring forth. We continue to encourage all Kenyans to read, to reflect, and make input for betterment of our nation. The document, and we all know, the document so-called the BBI report is here for us to interact with. So on our part, as religious leaders, we are here as this convocation to look at the processes which have been undertaken and the achievements gained. We will therefore be reviewing the consolidated report 
from the county dialogue conferences, even as we look forward to holding the remaining three county conferences. We will also review the proposed national dialogue consensus agreement arising from the dialogue processes. To inform this, we read and understand the Building Bridges Initiative's report and compare it with our recommendations we made to BBI Task Force during and after the NDC 1. All these processes only show the love we have for our country, for we care. We will therefore be guided by three main objectives. Number one, to receive and validate the report of the county dialogue conferences, of which I understand we did close to 43, if no more. The second thing will be to review and validate the proposed national dialogue consensus agreement, which is proposed. So we all look at it and say whether it speaks for the Kenyans. Number three, or C, to review and understand the report of the building bridges to the National Unity of Task Force, uh, Unity Task Force, because this is the document from the official team that was mandated by the government to receive all the reflections and conversations of Kenyans, and we were part of that. And remember myself, we were also, uh, during one of those meetings, when we came in as religious leaders, we were reminded and we said, our business is not to compete. Our business is to complement and bring forth all that we require as Kenyans so that we can move forward. The convocation which, which we are here today for will therefore prepare us to agree on what our strategic role shall be in a short and medium term as we continue to complement to implement our framework of the national dialogue we will therefore work to uh, ensure that our agenda of reconciliations remains top agenda restoration and the national values and institutions recovery and the reconstruction of the economy and the delivery of services and facilitating redemptive reforms required. This is what our dream is. So my dear brothers and sisters, we do this as brothers and sisters because not only do we care, but we have been united for a purpose positively contributing to the success of the birthing of the new Kenya. A nation we all care about, a nation we all love, and a country we all belong. And therefore, the nation both under religious and political leaders front, we cannot stand aside and watch our country being torn apart by whoever. So my dear brothers, Let's put our thoughts, our minds, and our heart and soul into this conference to share freely and as well to pray as we do our work in our unique way where we invite God to walk with us. God bless Kenya. God bless this convocation. And may he bless us from where we come from, including all those we are praying for who are suffering. For we also want to tell them we care about their suffering. God bless you all.